any phenomenon can be looked at through four different lenses, let's call them. Sometimes we say four different windows. Um, and what happens for most human beings is that we have a window that sort of is our, our default way that we see the world, and we don't even recognize that there are three other things to look at. And so oftentimes we're running around the world um, with, without a holistic picture of what's going on. Um, and I have a great desire in the world for especially for agile coaches and especially, especially for leaders to be using this model to see things more holistically before they act. Um, so that's, that's a little about why it's important. The, if we lay, if we lay it down just very quickly, um, imagine a two by two matrix, one of the quadrants, if you put your hand in the upper left, so go ahead, if you're listening, go ahead and put your hand in the upper left quadrant right now. That is the I quadrant. This is the quadrant of what's going on internally. Let's just talk about an individual human being because that's the easiest way to do it. An individual human being. What's going on internally for an individual human being? The only way we can access that in another is to ask them questions and have them answer, basically, right? Okay, now put your hand in the right hand, upper right hand quadrant. This is going to a very, very different place. It's called the it quadrant. And it is about individual um, phenomenon that we can measure and touch and have a sense of like, is it going well or not? <laughs> so for an individual, these would be their outward behaviors. This is what you would see in their outward behaviors. This is how they would describe themselves. And it's really about an individual behavior and then another individual behavior and another. It's the individual um, it quadrant. Okay, that's the top half. Now we're going to the bottom half. Put your hand in the lower left. That is called the we quadrant. That is the space of human relationship, human system dynamics. If we're thinking about an individual human being. This is the net or the web of relationships this person is in in their lives. Right? You think about a team. You can, you can feel the we space on a team or any group of people, typically, um, especially if something... Um, difficult has just happened when you walk into a meeting room let's say you walk in late something difficult has happened sometimes you can go uh oh hang on that's you feeling what we often say is the we space right okay that's the bottom left bottom right put your hand there that's the it's quadrant so um this is all of the system structures processes um everything that is sort of uh able enables or disables you to have a full life and so um, for an individual human being, this would be things like uh, your access to health care, your um, ability to cope with the difficulties of your life and what kind of support structures are there for you. So you, you'll, you'll think of like big systems, big processes, that sort of stuff for the it's quadrant. And of course, we've talked about this with an individual human being, but you can also apply this to a team. You can apply this to an a department or a function within an organization or a value stream, you can apply it to a whole organization.